Welcome back to Road Notes. Welcome back. Back on location. We're on location. <laughs> so I'm sure you can see that very large statue of Buddha behind yeah. us. We are at the White Sands Buddha Center in Mims, Florida. This is a working monastery. They offer um, services on the weekends. It's open to the public during the week. It is also the home of the largest Buddha in Florida. So we're going to take a little tour around and see what they have. Yeah, we gotta find them. We're on it. Beep, beep, road notes. RV tip if you uh, don't want to uh, smell up your RV with whatever it is you're cooking in this case um, frying up some sausages or fish for instance that have a very strong odor and we all know that if you cook that stuff inside the RV your RV will smell like it for a while may even set off some alarms so a great way to get around that is to get yourself one of those portable induction cooktops, bring it outside, and just cook outside. Keeps the smell out of your RV. On location. We're on location. <laughs> so I'm sure you can see that very large statue of Buddha behind us. We are at the White Sands Buddha Center in Mims, Florida. <laughs> more than 2,600 years ago. He's also the founder of Buddhism. It 
talks about this statue being carved in Vietnam, five blocks of granite, height of 35 feet, weighs over 200 tons, and it was placed here in March of 2013. Hmm. spaces has something different written on it whether it's written in the granite or it's written like this um, every single one of them has a different word reminders yes They're reminders to live by So this is the statue of the same Buddha entering Nirvana. The story is that he passed away at 80 while lying on his right side in meditation. So they brought this statue from Vietnam as well, March 2013. It's 35 feet mm. of uh, granite. try to pronounce the names but this is great compassion perfect wisdom the they i want to say it's they say it bodhisattva 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 yeah. may take one of 32 embodiments to assist sentient beings in times of difficulty therefore the statue is 32 feet carved in vietnam and brought here in 2012 february If I remember, the bodhisattvas are the ones on their way to enlightenment, but not quite there yet, but they're like the highest ones to go next to Nirvana, which is like the place that is very, very difficult to uh, get to. There are some offerings to the bodhisattva. People leave little statues, rocks. There's a, a mala or a little um, prayer bead bracelet. It's whatever you can leave. Pretty nice. Oh, here's some pennies, look at that. symbolizes, right? No. These water you lilies. see the little fishies. Yeah. Well, this is like, symbolizes how these water lilies, they basically are born in the muck of the water. That's our birth. And 
through a lot of training, preservation, uh, perseverance. They come through the dirt, up to the water, to the surface of the water, and then um, pointing to the light. And they flower? Which, and then they flower and they bloom and they blossom and that basically like, symbolizes our life. Hmm. Like it's not always easy, right? The beginnings are tough, but you gotta reach up to the surface and then you blossom. And then your life begins, basically. And it's your choice what you make of it. likely here is the uh, yep that's the Buddhist center so that's the uh, meditation center and then a lot of Buddhist centers have these these circles right here and that's for walking meditation and a lot of times when you have a re or when you participate in a retreat instead of sitting all day you also practice meditation while walking, and then you'll see the participants walking typically in a circle. incense whatever you want to call them but none of them are lit it's a little sad usually you try to keep those burning all day long send out prayers to everyone which is what the smoke represents and I've seen several now in a lot of incense sticks but none of them are lit maybe no staff here today table. So when you come to visit a Buddhist center, they always accept donations. Could be monetary, money, or food, like some oranges, bananas, apples, or even bottles of water. They are sure to appreciate it. Okay, so 
So let's see if the uh, gift shop is open today and see what they have inside. Let's see if they're open. That says open. Yeah, there's somebody in there. Oh yeah. Good, how about you? Okay. are left to do here one we want to leave a little offering for the bodhisattva and then maybe just take five minutes mm -hmm. find a place to sit and do some meditation yep. We yeah. have. This is yeah. a pretty cool place. Nice. We're going to uh, spend just a little more time walking around and we're going to ring the bell, say the chant, yeah. say the prayer, and then we're going to head on out. Like what you see, support us by subscribing, yes. liking this video, watch other videos, and if you feel like it, follow us on social media Instagram, yes, Facebook, Twitter. The usual. Careful out on the road. See you soon. Drive safe. Bye.